In this video, we're going to look at a common business problem, and it really involves with determining the results of a rate of change. So, for instance, in this example here, we have 20 employees. We have 20 different salaries. And what we're going to do during the video is determine what the new salary would be based upon an increase of 10%. So in other words, we're going to receive a raise of 10%. Now if you were to calculate that out, the formula would be the new salary is equal to the present salary multiplied by 1 plus the rate of change. So it's a 1 plus that rate of change or the increase which is 10 percent. Now a key to determining the right or correct rate of change using Excel is to remember that the rate of change is going to be an absolute. All 20 of our employees are going to receive a 10 percent increase. So let's go over to our problem and we're going to click on the sheet called rate of change problem. Our objective, we want to determine the new salary for our 20 employees based upon an increase of 10% to their present salary. So we're going to start off by going into cell C2. And once again, this will be a formula. So it's going to start off with an equal sign. We're going to click on the 100, which is the present salary. And that 100 happens to be in cell B2. And that's going to be multiplied by the quantity. Now here's another key component here. It's a two-step process. So whenever you're dealing with the two-step process, you want to make sure you use parentheses. So it's multiplied by open parentheses 1 plus our rate of change, which is the 10%. So I'm going to click here. That 10% resides in cell H1. But the whole key here is that everyone will be receiving a 10% increase. So in other words, that 10% is a constant or an absolute. And as we know, in order to make a cell a constant or an absolute, what we have to do is tap F4. What's happened now is that we've made that cell into an absolute, and we know we've done that because there's now a dollar sign H and a dollar sign 1. So we've made that cell into an absolute or constant. After doing that, what we want to do is close our parenthesis, click the check mark. And in our head, we can actually determine that with a 10% raise, it would be 110. But another way of checking that formula is by quickly double left clicking. And you can see the 100 is now showing multiplied by our 10 over here. 1 plus the 10. We can now copy down that pattern all the way down to the end. Let's check our last formula. And we can see the 770 multiplied by 1 plus and, and this over here is our rate of change. Now the beauty of this formula 
is that we could easily change that rate of change. We could make it 5%. Hit enter. And we can see everything has been changed all throughout here. Because our formula is running off this amount here, which is a constant. Thank you.